Hello there! In this video you are going to learn how to create animated banner in Unity. Let's take a look at our scene. It's a demo scene from Mega City Pack and we have a helicopter here. But currently the banner that we attach to it doesn't move, so it is not that realistic. To animate the banner we will use close component. Let's add this component and see what will happen. Now in play mode we see how it's falling down through the floor. The reason why it's acting like this is because we enabled gravity. There is a special tick for this, but we will keep it because we want to bend our banner a little bit. By default close component won't attach the banner to other object. We need to do it manually. With this small button we can create some new constraints. They will hold close so it doesn't fall down. If you click this button and see nothing, then you probably haven't enabled Gizmos. To fix this you just simply need to press a small button on the right upper corner of the screen. Now you can see a small little panel and some black dots. These black dots represent vertices of the mesh. When the vertex is black it is unconstrained. So let's add some constraints. For this we first need to select some max distance. The vertex won't move further away from the original point than this distance. By default there is 0.2, so let's try to use it to see what will happen. Now in paint mode I just need to click to some vertices to add constraints there. I will also put a constraint on another side of the flag for testing purposes. When it's ready let's start the game. And now we see that the banner doesn't fall down anymore because it is constrained to these points. These points are used in local position so when you displace the object they are displacing with it and world coordinates change. But currently it doesn't really look like a real flag, we need to constrain it strongly. Let's go back to the editor and change the max distance value to zero. Again we need to paint some of the vertices and we also need to erase our special constraint used for testing. To do this we need to deselect tick near to the max distance value. Now if we paint any vertex it will become black again. So I made all of the vertices near to this tick constraint and we are finally ready to start the game again. As you can see it is working correctly. But if you were on the streets of this city you wouldn't be able to see anything on this banner. It is too messy. We can try to fix this by applying some directional wind. Close component doesn't work with wind object but we can apply some acceleration here. Let's add some direction. Don't forget that it is in global coordinates in world space and you can see our banner starts to stretching into one of the sides. With this strong acceleration it looks really great. I will stop the game and we will create some small animation with Unity splines. They are really useful in Unity engine because you can create complex movements and animations with them. And if you want to learn how to use them you can follow the link in the description and see a video about this topic. So I created a simple spline loop and now I will put it upper. Next I will add spline animate component. I will control the animation with speed so I need to switch this enum. Next I will add some custom scripts to rotate objects. They are always included in our packages. Now it's ready to fly. When we start the game we see that it's still not really attractive. The helicopter is displacing but the banner stays still and is trying to rotate overlapping itself. When I adjust some wind it looks great but as helicopter rotates nothing changes and it's just stretching to the one of the directions. Let's try to fix this. For this we need a custom C sharp script. I will create a simple mono behavior script then I will add two properties. The first one will be local acceleration and the second one will not be displayed and will be close component. I will also make it necessary for the script to be attached on an object with close component. I will use require component attribute. Then in start function I will get the close component and put it into our variable. It is done with get component method. In the update function I will transform the direction from local to world coordinates and set it into the close component. For those who is not experienced in C sharp and Unity I will tell that start function is executed only once in the start of the game and update function is executed every frame. Now let's move to the editor and attach this script on the banner. Our banner is child object of the helicopter so it will be rotated with it. You can switch a small option from global to local and see how axes are aligned. I will create a strong acceleration in the back direction. Now when I start the game banner is beautifully stretching. If you remember I put a require component attribute. If we will try to remove a close component we will get this error. So if you want to remove close component you should first remove the banner script. It will prevent user from a simple mistake. 
Now let's weaken some of the constraints. We will imagine that banner is only attached in specific places. These places will be strong constraints with zero max distance and we will make other places with weaker constraints. When we finally run the game, we see that some parts of the flag are stretching more and some are less. Arguably, it is more realistic. So anyway, that's all for this video. Now you see we can create some beautiful banner that is stretching in the sky. Also, if you are interested what is on the background, it is Mega City Pack of Eat Happy Studios. You can follow the link in the description to get the full pack with a big traffic system that is driven by GPU. Check it out because you might like it. So that's everything. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.